Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, cut that. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, we're going to be reacting to some more Michaela drama. I hear she had another um another collaboration that people was not also not happy about. It's a lot of stuff they a lot of, I had to go to the comments to see what people were saying. And a lot of people were saying the same thing. They just said she don't own up to like something. I'm like, what is she not owning up to? What is this girl lying about? It must Y'all know I only learned about Michaela when I started doing this channel when I was like started doing reactions i've never heard of her never seen her and it might be shocking because i like i look up a lot of beauty stuff on instagram all beauty like i watch a lot of makeup artists so i never heard of her so to know that like one person got this so like this much drama is like insane so let's get into this reaction because i'm actually curious about what's going on we've been talking about michaela and how lashgate changed a lot when it comes to sponsorships on tiktok viewers are more clued in to what's an ad and what creators are being deceptive although a lot of michaela's dedicated audience saw nothing wrong with lashgate and will support her no matter what michaela still has gained okay real quick lashgate was that i don't know why it's like a freaking watergate scandal lashgate scandal <laughs> when um that was with the lashes that they believe that she faked it when that is that what that is the reputation of pants she got but as time has gone on it's started to catch up with her any brand that now works with her is being dragged for supporting someone with a past of oh god being deceitful that's not good it's not a good look it's a mess let's, so get, let's get, get into, into it. it a few months ago we talked about michaela's wedding collab with elf and just how much backlash they received for working with her Dang. just because somebody got hate and that people be like um you know complain so much that doesn't mean people they won't buy it y'all people just be talking so much trying to be the first ones up in line but um like i said i don't know where all the hate came from because i only know so much of her but really roman that's what's going on downstairs my mom down there with him but um i only know so much but people can say anything i don't, I, don't I think it's crazy how um people can drag a brand for working with them but that's the whole thing, I guess. It's like you want these people, these customers, they don't want to buy if you work with this one person. It's interesting. And if Michaela had admitted to using lashes, yeah, it wouldn't have been good for her for probably a little while there. But I think people would have respected that. A okay, and also with this, okay, I would, it looked like, you know what? It looked like it could be fake, could not be. It looked like she has mascara because it's like, you know, I don't see a stripper and, you know, individuals is what she would use, obviously, girl. But you have to be pretty good at, like, doing that. My sister has really, really thick lashes and we've always, it's five girls in this family, like, my sister is five of us. We've always been jealous of her. Her lashes are so freaking thick that she used to, like, cut them because they, like, they used to, like, bother her eyes. But people are just gifted with lashes, y'all. I know, you know what? I still think it look compared to the other eye. I still think she like tweaked something because it it wouldn't make it don't make sense. But I don't know. That's crazy. Interesting, isn't it? It's like an echo in my earphone. So I was like, it makes me look at that brand differently. Not just because they're working with Michaela, but also because they usually don't check to make sure that she's disclosing properly. The first brand I've seen that actually made sure Michaela used proper disclosure was Maybelline for their new plumping glosses, and that had me shocked. I think brands are hopefully starting to realize Why does that so weird my is going to be onto them soon and they're making sure they're in the clear, especially when it comes to Michaela and her track record. Another brand that chose to work with Michaela recently was KVD Beauty and they're getting a lot of negative Never heard of this brand either. KVD Beauty, formerly known as Kat Von D Beauty, has gone through a Okay, now I know. I know, I know who this is. Also, y'all, I'm not the, let me... I gotta redo this because this I gotta take like these AirPods. They something is throwing me off. <laughs> you know what? Whatever. We just gonna finish it. Full rebrand. Trying to save. I just take one out. When everything came out about Kat Von D many years back now, a lot of people. Yeah, I think I heard her with brand and it suffered. She eventually it? decided to sell her <sighs> shares to a beauty incubator called Kendo, and they've been working hard trying to revive the brand. So you would think after being owned by a controversial figure, going through major- Her brand looked cool though. Was and, what your own and I love both sides. But listen, sometimes I feel a lot of pressure to follow the side that follows the rules. When usually I want to say it, feel beautiful on this side, but I feel like me on this one. Now it's your turn. I'm teaming up with KVD and I want you to show me how you follow the rules and how you follow the rules. 
KVD and I want to change four people's lives. This is major, guys. Listen up. If you enter this contest, you will receive an all-expenses-paid trip to New York City from October 12th to 15th. And you will be the face of a KVD beauty campaign with me. They got a ton of entries, and KVD ended up hand selecting a few of Michaela's followers to fly out to New York, have them meet oh, cool. Nicola, go on a shopping spree, and be featured in a campaign shoot. Myself and four of my followers are getting in this limo because KVD Beauty is taking us to Ulta for a $500 KVD Beauty shopping spree. It was a complete and utter surprise walking into Ulta because they had huge houses cool. with our faces on it. I literally used to work here. That is so surreal. It was unbelievably wholesome to see the winners standing next to their poster. This is a dream. And it's actually really cool. Like this whole look campaign thing looks so cool and I'm actually curious I'm like what happened where the hate about to come up because y'all know people it looked like a really cool thing I think that's really cool they actually handpick people to come out there I want five hundred dollars you can it's actually you know what it's actually that's not a lot of money in Ulta surprisingly yeah I love Ulta but oh my god you spend a lot of money up in there when you want certain things but I would go crazy with five hundred dollars up in there still but yeah this really cool thing that they did though come I'm guessing the hate is after, like, you know, working with her. I guess that's what this is because people don't trust her. Is it really over? Is everything really over this lash gate thing? No, I'm actually interested because I don't care. That's funny if it is. I feel like it's crazy for people to hate you. But I think they also say she lied about other stuff. Maybe lied just to get, like, sponsorships and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> KBD Beauty absolutely decked out the altar and basically they got to fill their basket with whatever they wanted from KBD and when I tell you they were racking up these baskets with products but it was only KBD they stuff KBD I need a I need a there who got to help them with shade matching really the water <laughs> techniques wear tests and just figuring out what products they'd want it was an absolute blast I cannot tell you That's how what's much up. joy I had just watching them have this experience. They have big dreams and they deserve this so much. So then it was time to check out and man, they went over budget. The KVD was totally okay with it. And tomorrow is photo shoot day. I love so was it 500 all together? To Pretty sure. Things like this. That's and cool though, and those, I like that. that help give them a boost. They all seemed extremely grateful and so excited for the opportunity, leaving comments under Michaela's video like, It is so surreal seeing myself on here. I can't even put into words how grateful I am for you making my dreams come true. Everything out. sounds so People good. Were selected truly seemed so deserving and so excited and like their dreams were coming true. Get under um, me. Probably the best day of my whole entire life, ever. <laughs> I don't think I've ever filmed a get on ready with me, but Michaela told me to. So obviously, I'm going to make one. If you guys can't already tell, I'm like, how, like, starstruck. Like, I am in complete, in, like, shock of what just happened. Sometimes you follow the rules. And sometimes you just say, <laughs> I was trying not to laugh because I'm like, okay, it is not a bad laugh. I know people didn't like it. I'm trying to, I was trying to like see what's going on because the music changed made me laugh because I'm like, I can't take it seriously for some reason. I don't know why I can't take it seriously. They should all have dark makeup. Yeah, everybody has dark makeup. Oh, different looks okay. They all look good. Okay, hold on. No. The shot is not it's not a good shot, okay? They all look good, but no. Okay, who? Jeez, that's what ruined it for me, okay? It's just that everybody's just walking so normally. They could have at least put them in, like, based on height or something, because it just look, it look awkward. That's what it do. Wow, you had so many beauty creators to choose from, and you make others question your brand's integrity by choosing Michaela. I'm sure I'm not the only customer disappointed. And just like that, all my trust in the brand is gone. Well, there goes my support for this brand. I'm following and not purchasing this brand anymore.
when are brands gonna stop supporting sketchy people just for clout? Can I present something real quick about that too? I think it's so crazy. Okay, look. I don't care for her either, but dang, do y'all not want the girl to make money? Is it like that? I, maybe it's me, and it's only because I don't know much of her, y'all. Maybe these are like diehard fans and of like that brand, not fans, but like maybe they just, they all know her and they've been following her for so long they know, or not even following her, just been researching her so they know how um, shady she really is. I don't know, okay? I've only seen like a couple of videos of her, so maybe that's just me not knowing. And maybe I should just do my research this time. I'm just shut up because I don't know. But I always think it's crazy that people will say they'll stop supporting the brand just because they, um, they're partnering with somebody they don't like. I don't think I would ever do that. I just wouldn't buy their product. It's like, it's that simple. Just don't buy, like, Michaela's product and the brand. You don't have to stop supporting the brand in the whole, like, in the whole just because of her. I just think that's, like, stupid. That's just me, though. That's like if Morphe partnered with who? Who don't I like? It's a couple people. That's okay. Perfect example. If Morphe partnered with James Charles, which I doubt they would ever do again, it's like I just wouldn't buy. I love Morphe so much, I just wouldn't buy his stuff. That's all it is. I don't think it's that, that serious. That's just me, though, y'all. It's so nice that these small creators who work hard got the chance to experience this. I love that for them. Love but the pictures. Friend, like, she did get lip fillers, right? Like, it had to be. I'm just looking, okay, y'all? I don't, you know what? I was, no hate, but this finish sound like shade. I was blessed with, like, beautiful lips, so, like, it just throws me. I was really curious, okay? I was just curious. You know, even when people, even people with beautiful lips still would, like, get injections and then ruin them. But, yeah, I was throwing outside because I just kept looking at them. They're just, they're so tiny. That's, that's what, every time I look at her, I look at how small her lips are. They're just, like... Anyways, really, it was a really cool, um, you know, that Kat Von D, is that how you say it, KVD? However you say it. Really cool, um, promotion thing for those, um, content creators that they chose. Loved it. They, they, they showed them enough, I guess, because you could say they could have showed them, like, more. I just didn't like that, um, that, that campaign was, it was cute when it, because they was in it. It was just the last part when they were just walking and threw me off. Everybody just, it's the different heights. And everybody, obviously not the same height, but they could have did that. Or everybody could just been sitting down and they could have just like panned around because that walk, the walks were throwing me off. Um, like I said throughout this video, I don't know much of her video, so I don't know how shady she really is. So, um, yeah, maybe I need to do some research on that, y'all. But I just, um, I just, I'm not a fan of when people say they'll stop supporting a brand just because they don't like somebody. And that's easily, that's just your, you can easily do that. It's like America, free speech, and whatever country you're in, free speech, hopefully. But it's like, I don't think just because y'all dislike her, and I know she probably did some shady stuff that you don't have to, that you can stop, that you have to stop supporting the brand entirely. And I doubt that one, the one comment isn't going to stop them from making money. But like, maybe a lot of them will. But yeah, I just don't, I don't, it's only because I don't know much of her though, that's it. I can easily do more research, which I might just do and stop making any comments. And I'll be like, you know what, that girl is shady as hell. Why do they work with her? You know what, banish her from the beauty community. Maybe that's what everybody wants. <laughs> I don't know. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely like, comment, share, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at iTotanagray. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.